and gentlemen, welcome. Tikapo from KM Capital Group and Sensei Ecosystem. Uh, today we're gonna do a tutorial video and a lot of series, by the way, uh, about Multiverse X um, to teach you how to run a node on the DevNet and the testnet. This will be the same process, by the way, for the mainnet, but you will need real EGLD, at least 2.5 key EGLD. But we'll talk about that later. Um, this is an opening because I have to tell you some kind of stuff, like a cheat sheet about the words I will be using into this tutorial. And I will put some links, links sorry, on YouTube to help you know what a CLI, GitHub and everything is about. But on X, you will not have all this uh, reference and links. So if you don't know uh, what is a CLI terminus, SSH and stuff like that, go on the YouTube video and you will be a lot of content to help you uh, to uh, do this tutorial. So by the way, I will uh, take this like a completely beginner course. If you don't know about blockchain, don't know about Web2, about hosting, about stuff like that, I will tell you everything about it. To do it, leave me a comment to let me know if I was pretty clear and I help you and teach you some stuff, good stuff, I hope so. And uh, let's get started. And by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to run your nodes. Uh, we are doing this uh, before the release of the staking, fi uh, staking phase four of Multiverse X. So Multiverse X is the blockchain uh, where we will be uh, um, deploy all nodes. And uh, the battle of stake will uh, certainly be ongoing uh, at the moment of the launch of this video. So maybe uh, later I may have to do some updates but um, I think 80% of the content will stay the same about creating you know, the user, the VPS and stuff like that. The version of the software may not may will change that's sure about that but the process will be the same. Are you ready? Take a coffee, take a soda, take some chips, <laughs> take your Mac, take your laptop and let's try this together. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on this tutorial on the stacking V4 of Multiverse X done by KM Capital Group. So we will try to uh, teach you how to do your own node. Uh, maybe you want to build an observer on the Multiverse X blockchain or uh, simply just try how to manage a node, even if you don't have uh, 2.5 key EGLD, but you can try it with fake EGLD called XEGLD. And we will try to make uh, this happen before the battle of node to help you to train on that. And first we need to get a VPS. So what is VPS? A VPS is a virtual machine hosted on a hosting provider. Um, you should try to buy something on a full managed VPS, uh, not a shared VPS, because um, all the power and the performance will be uh, hilt if you don't uh, choose the correct one. For myself, I choose the hosting provider Yonos. And then on that, I will create a brand new image uh, to start from the beginning and show you uh, how to do it from scratch. So I will erase my uh, ISO and build a new one. So to build a multiverse blockchain, we will use a lot of uh, CLI. Uh, so this is uh, named the command line tool to uh, set up some command into a black box. And I will teach you how to do that. If you don't know how to uh, use the basic functionality of a command line tool, I will put just here uh, how to do it. Just follow this link and you will have a cheat sheet about the most used command on the CLI. So be sure to install Ubuntu. So Ubuntu is a Linux uh, license and in the version 22.04 because uh, this one is um, the last test up to date working great with the node. So first 
you have to uh, select it and then build your images and then you just oh, the vps already got ubuntu 22.04 installed and we'll need to configure that to access now to your web server we will use the command light tool so for that you have to use a software i am on mac and i will use what is it uh, just over there terminus terminus is a software to access to my node uh, through the ssh uh, protocol so for that you will need some information about your server over there you will have the ip address and then the access by default your hosting provider will provide you the ip address of the server the root user and the password so first you will have to make a connection between your client so terminus on my end if you are on windows you can try a software like putty putty is a ssh client you can use it on windows and this is the same process you just have to configure the software to access to your vps so next option download terminal on mac or put on windows you just have to uh, post at the host your ip address so the ip address of the vps the username root and the password so we're back i will do it on mac for myself so with the terminus software you just have to add a brand new host over there and then uh he will ask you some details first the ip address of the server then you just have to uh, set up a description to know which vps is about uh, you can make some groups like parent and child if you have many nodes and you are uh, a big node manager <laughs> i hope you will be a big node manager on uh, mvx then you can uh, use tags to find them more easier then uh, you will see that in these params on your hosting provider uh, detail the port for ssh ssh access then as we saw just before the username roots and your password then you will hit the connect button so for the first connection you will have a fingerprint to set up this is a an access you give from your vps to your terminal client in ssh to configure and uh, give access to it so i already have a older one i will replace it and then boom i'm connected and this is how you give access and get access from a client to your vps with a cli command line tool and a software called terminus or putty on mac let's go to the next chapter okay so before going further i will give you the link of this cheat sheet what is a cheat sheet this is like a page with all the shortcuts and all the tips you can use with uh, languages or software um, to understand how to work smarter with it as you know with a <clears throat> common line tool you don't have some gui so graphic user interface so we will have to uh, move on folder remove folder create new doc uh, without a mouse or a graphic interface so you will do it with a command line so over there you have all the command line most used in the in the cli and you can uh, try to train yourself and uh, you will see we will use the the most common one to uh configure and install our multiverse 6 node for the first time and this is not a big deal you will see that okay so you connected uh, through your vps uh to your vps through term ui or petty on windows Right now you're connected as a root user, but before going further, you have to create a brand new user uh, because we don't put any kind of data or install any kind of software or machine as root to don't break a thing. So first, let's create a brand new user. For that, you will use the command add user up. Okay, so 
you will see a brand new user will be created and it will ask for a password so you can set up a password let's go then the confirmation of the password let's go okay then you can enter more details if you want i don't want to this is optional stuff and then when you finish you say why to say yes and then you have your brand new user then you have to log in as this brand new user so for that you will use the command su then the username and then you will connect it as the brand new user as you can see before we was uh, logged in as root and then we were logged in as Tikao. Let's continue to the next step. This part will be very short. You need to know which kind of user you are to set up uh, some action to it. So first uh, you are the first um, uh, evidence here with your username you know uh, we've created this user because by default we was a root user then uh, if you have a doubt you can write this command who uh, am I up and you got the name upper here you know so first check this out to know which user is uh, actually logged or you can set up this command who am I to know the user and then to keep a clean environment you can write clear up and then you get a clear environment let's go to the net part okay so now we will uh, look at the multiverse 6 documentation so how to set up a node with the script and config so first you will have your first command line to enter into your vps so you have the common directory line with the tilde and that you will see the git clone git is uh, let's say a software or uh, open source based uh, repository online like a cloud platform for developer to host their codes they can make it private or public and to give you an example we will be able to clone we say clone to fetch and put the code at this URL on the GitHub repository on OVPS because it's public. The Multiverse 6 uh, let this code public. But in the same time, uh, say that in March, the 28th March, uh, if you want to set up a testnet node for the uh, one infinite chain, uh, the first OVM compatible uh, Sovereign Shard available on Multiverse 6, you can't because it's available. You have the link into the documentation, but the repo is private and you can't, by the way, uh, clone it. So you don't have to uh, copy all the, the the word you can um pass through and directly copy by hitting this button on your software so put your terminus then up i got my tilde here git clone the repository let's go it will go directly in the correct folder i already was on the correct one and clone the repo and this is some um shortcut you will see on the sheet sheet i will um give that on youtube uh, and it will be time stamped you can put the ls command press enter and you will see uh, it's create a brand new directory mx chain script and like we've done here command directory then you can write mx uh this and then tabulation for the auto completion and you will be directly into the uh folder and then put a ls and you will see the content of the folder so here you can see uh in uh, purple the folder in uh, blank let's say that this is the uh um uh, how can I say that? This is documents you can edit, like with nano stuff like that. This is text related documents, and in green, this is a script you can execute on Linux um, by doing stuff like that. Uh, point slash script point sh, and then you will have something to do. But uh, we will do something before because, as you can see, he asked me for the password for the user tickle and we will do a step to remove this and don't have to uh, put the password for each step let's go for the next 
party. So let's go back uh, directly to the documentation. Here you see they tell us to edit this file variable.cfg and in that in that folder uh, that uh, file we will have some variable environment custom home and user. So environment is to set up the uh, let's say network used by your um, uh, node like mainnet if you already have real EGLD, so 2.5 key EGLD, and testnet and devnet for X EGLD. What you need to uh, know before doing this, if you just want to try to validate, you can do it on the testnet without any problem. But if you are building something, uh, maybe you have to do it on the devnet because um, the testnet is reset, reset sorry, more often than the devnet. Then uh, custom home. So we will uh, check this because your username will not be Ubuntu like in the example and same way for the user so as you know um, you have some commands I will detail a, um, uh, a lot of things because this is better than just tell you to copy that do that do that you have to understand what you guys are doing here command directory is to uh, uh, move uh, from folder to another folder so as you know we clone this file mxchain script and we will go into another uh, folder of the folder config uh, and then this command nano will open this file an editable file variable.cfg and then we will have this so let's do it copy it open putty or terminus then past it so you see command directory tilde mxchain script slash config and then open the file with nano variable.cfg. Let's press enter. Okay, we are into it. So how's, how you can see it, um, this was the same thing. Uh, you can read, you can, uh, I can say that. This is the same thing you can read on the documentation of Multiverse 6. So let's see the environment. So for that, we will do the battle of nodes. So this is the test net. But remember, testnet, if you are building something, is reset more often than the devnet. Don't prefer, so prefer the devnet if you are building something. My username, you know, I've done the, the command warmai to know which user is logged in. So this is Tikao, okay, and the user Tikao. Okay, perfect. So here you can see something on the footer of the, the file. You can press control or command x um, to exit the file so let's do it and then you will get this prompt to uh, ask you if you want to save uh, the buffer you say yes you keep the same name don't change anything about this and then press enter and congratulations okay then we already modified this file so um you know just earlier, we already said that command to know what kind of user is uh, logged in at the moment. But the user we created don't have any privilege and get uh, guarded, let's say that, by your password. And we have to disable this uh, to launch the script into the repo with just clone. So for that, um, you have to log in as root. So you log out as a user, you can use a, a command su root and then set up the password available on your uh, hosting provider panel. Then you just have to copy that up. It will open a file. Let's go. Okay, totally blank file. On that, you will do some up, up, copy that line. And this is what you will get past it. So you just have to remove the you username by the name of the user you already claimed before. For myself is Tikao. And to remember, uh, Tikao is the name uh, I get when I put the command who am I 
into my logged session and on that you will just say to um your vps this username gets all privilege i don't have to uh, enter his password for the operation he will provide to the machine so let's hit control uh, x on mac or control uh, x on uh, pc then y okay don't uh, change the name of the file click enter and then you can relog as tikao su tikao okay then you can check the command ls to see the doc so if you follow we will make a clear environment so clear that you can put cd mx up tabulation i get the file perfect then the script file is under this uh, folder. So let's put an ls and yeah, you can see it in green. So dot slash scripts uh, dot sh. And then something happened. What's happening? The script will um, install all the libraries needed to run the node. And then it will show you a prompt uh, to see uh, what kind of action you can do on the machine. This is it. There you will have some option from the 1 to the 18. So I will and do, uh, I will not uh, tell you everything because you have some description about that. But you can see over there the configuration of your node is correct because the user is tikao. The network is testnet as we define on the file. Then we will need to install install a brand new one uh you can install an observer squad uh multi-key squad upgrade your node upgrade the multi-key upgrade your squad the proxy remove the db if you have error on your node start one node or start all if you are you have more than one node on this vps git pool is a is a command to uh fetch the last version push into the github repository of the team to get the last version of the node running and uh, continue to validate transaction on the network and our nodes to uh, add more nodes uh, to validate session and maybe I will uh, show you how to do it into this tutorial I don't know if I have the time but I will try to to get a lot of stuff uh, and then that's it so First, we'll need to install the node because we don't have any node running at the moment, right? So press 1, then enter. So how many nodes do you want to run on the Multiverse 6 testnet? I will start with one and then add more nodes uh, in the future. So say one, but you can say uh, more, more if you want to, to put more in it. So then it will uh, fetch all the data needed, install libraries, clone repos, do some stuff. And once uh, this will be finished, I will go to the next chapter. I'll see you really soon. Oh, you still there? Congratulations, you're a warrior. <laughs> so uh, I finish this little cook and then asking for some data. So here you will have uh, to choose a custom name for your node. This is the name you will have. Um, can I so maybe I will show you something. Up testnet. Uh, Explorer. Yeah, let's go because you have to understand how the thing works. When you go into the validator, you will see a lot of nodes over there, you know, and here this is the name of the node. And this is exactly the what the prompt is asking at the moment. Let's choose a name for the new node. So let's go back uh, on terminus and then I will say can CPG uh, one because you have to uh, define some references if you want to build more uh, add more node into your, uh, your your park you need to identify them so for that uh, define some reference uh, to your uh, naming so okay pm not prison okay so he will add the key process finished okay so here we are create slim okay perfect then this is it but what to do next 
Next, you can do something. It's start your node. You know, you can see it at the step uh, eight and uh, nine. Sorry. So let's press nine. Yeah. Start the node. Oh, I don't do it. Nine. Start the node. Yes. Okay. Okay, and it will start. And then I will show you how to monitor it. But we have some other steps uh, before, say, we got, your node, we got our node and we're ready to validate. Stay tuned, next phase. So we're back. So we'll stop the nodes because we have something to do, as you can uh, see in the other video um, we don't have PM we don't have a file and we have to make some directories uh, to attribute uh, the key management uh, of the node because uh, nobody can run it how can I define the property the property of the node if I don't have the keys right so we will create that for that when you look at the documentation you can use that command so let's copy it and I will describe it so let's clear the environment okay uh, then past it CD tilde okay we will go back over there MKDIA, we will see, you will see it on the sheet sheet. MKDIA is for uh, make directory. So create a new directory and uh, name it validator key. So let's press enter. Okay. If uh, you get it here, you see we change directory. We are on the tilde. So let's press LS. And what we have right now, so more folder created by the script, okay, go L1 utilities and L1 not, but also the new folder we just created, you know, CD tilde, MKD, validator skis, and there is it, this is it, sorry, so perfect. Then, what to do, what to do, what to do? Generate a certificate file containing a validator key by running key generator okay so this will be the next step okay then so we have to generate the keys of the validator so as uh, shown on the documentation here you can see it you can see this sorry so dot slash l1 utilities slash key generator so we'll execute this script on this folder where is it uh, terminus let's go okay so give you an int he create the file generate them and put it on the folder home tical okay get it then what i have to do you see you can uh, use a brand new command validator key.pm till l1 node not zero config okay so let's go for it Whoop, do it so i copy the file generate generated in this folder and put it in l1 node node zero config you will tell me yeah but uh you name your uh um your node kmcpg1 but i can see a brand new folder called node zero yeah because um this is like you got um how can i say that a blackboard and into a blackboard encode uh, the zero is the first position and not the one one is the second position so if you create another uh, node uh, into your vps this will be node one and not 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 two i don't know if i'm clear but you have to understand that uh, to know where you at okay then that's it um we will uh, copy the copy sorry the validator key prm into a zip format into the folder validator keys we've created earlier so copy it then clear yup press enter and you got the the file copy into this folder you can see it zipped from node zero zip validator key pm move node zero zip in home validator key and if you do ls cd uh, 
value that are keys less and you will see the node zero zip over there let's go to the next chapter and you still there <laughs> we almost finished but uh you will be able to start the node right now so copy that file go into uh term minus or a petty as you want clear your space uh we can do a cd up to point to back here and there past it emission starts for the script do you want to start all the nodes yes let's go and the node is started perfect but it will be better to see what's happening uh, behind all this black screen, right? So what you can do is to pay, copy this and paste it. This is the last lane for that. Paste it. So I think you start understand how it's working. Command directory, go to home, L1 utilizer, then use this script terminary address localhost 8080. Let me tell you something about this because as I told you before, uh, sorry, I'm not fluent, I'm trying to do my best, but I need you to understand what you guys are doing. This is the first node we are doing. And if you remember, we have a folder called node zero. So it's running on the port 8080. But if I'm doing an another node into this VPS, it will uh, be in the folder node 1 and run on the port 8081. So you can monitor one node and at the time. I don't know if someone already created a um, UI to see all the nodes running in one time. Maybe it could be a, a next improvement. But uh, at the moment, this is how it works. So you press enter and then you can see. The node name came CPG1. It's actually an observer because we just launched it and it has to synchronize itself. So it will be the case. There you got the app version. So we just uh, git pull the repo. We create the node right now. And this is green. So we, are, we have the last version available. If uh, this is not the last version, you will have a message here tell you to git pull to the next uh, version. So you will have to update your node. Here, this is the live, um, how can I say that, monitoring yeah, dashboard of your VPS with the epoch info and stuff like that. And here you get some information, uh, the block you already validated, the consensus runtime soon, maybe in three seconds. Let's see, and you will be ready to validate on the uh, staking phase four. So it was a pleasure to teach you how to do it. I was uh, really uh, happy to be your sensei on this. And we will have some other stuff to do on the wallet parts to claim the property of the node and start delegating and then validating. So see you. Whoa, you're still there. Almost half an hour of content. We finished the part to set up the infra, the PM key, the node, the user, install and clone the repo and stuff like that. Next, um, as you can see on the top, uh, we will uh, set up how to configure your wallet address uh, to manage the node. So for that, you will need the PEM key we just finished to configure before. And I will show you how to link these two elements uh, to manage your node from the testnet or devnet wallet of the multiverse 6 blockchain. So I think I will publish this the next week. So leave me a comment to let me know if you I uh, find this uh, um, smart or not. <laughs> and uh, if you're ready uh, to publish your node on the DevNet or the Testnet, uh, I would like to see if people uh, is able to uh, uh, redo all these steps and publish their nodes. Uh, even if you want to follow me, you can see on the description my uh, Twitter pseudonym tkapo one we, we will have a Discord link too. And you will have also the link of the telegram of the validator of the blockchain uh, if you have some question um, not covered into this tutorial and yeah for the following uh, and the next steps 
um, let's say yeah next week I will publish the video and you will have all the tutorial and I think in one hour you will be able to do it see you soon and let's build bye bye